Hey guys, today I am taking you with me to a place called Kamakis. If you don't know it, please Google it. We are here right now. And the reason I'm here is to visit a site by Fine Urban. They have done the whole design, even a bit of the construction work. So I am curious to see how far they've come. I'll be meeting their expert, Miss Cynthia, who does an amazing job. And I can't wait for her to show us the transformation. Howdy. Hey, Cynthia. I'm good. You look great. Welcome, nice to see you. Welcome. Thank you. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, I'm so happy you're here with me today. Wonderful, wonderful. I, I saw the before of this house. Yeah. And you have come a long way. Well done. And it's been quite the change. Massive transformation. Yeah. yeah. I can't wait to go in. Well, hi there. I am Grace Msalame, and I'm of this beautiful site that is by Fine Urban. And that's why I'm here with the expert, Cynthia. And she'll take us through this house. Yes. Um, how far you've come and highlight features that I believe are unique to Fine Urban and also unique to this house yes. and that you'd like to share with us. Yeah, this so. is it's such a huge project. You've said it's had a big transformation. It Honestly, has. Honestly, I am in awe standing here because last time I was here, none of all this beauty that's happening was really? here. So there's a few things that you notice as we're going through. There's okay. a really big emphasis on natural lighting, mm -hmm. on the inclusion of natural features, okay. on the selection, the quality of materials we're using, Super. And the color selection, which is something we always blow out of the water. Really? So as we're going through, I'm so interested to see your reaction as you okay. see how we've implemented all these things. Fantastic. So let's yeah. start with, with out here. Yes. Um, I mean, the gate looks interesting. You can take us through it. Yes, it is the most fantastic introduction. This yeah. property, when you first came here, they didn't there was have nothing. a perimeter wall, it didn't have a main gate, and now hmm. for it to have a gate that has been so carefully crafted, yep. this is all by Fine Oven Interiors. We didn't like buy this, we fabricated it, so wow. that's why we were able to achieve a this. Massive, yeah, reflective material and have it to this scale. I and see. of course, it's very, I was opening it badly. This gate is heavy. You're using all your strength, eh? <laughs> yes. So you get the Security, Security right wise. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And the perimeter wall also wasn't there before. No. Okay. No. Of course, you have to secure every property you're building. And we go that extra mile because, of course, it's sturdy and it's strong, but yeah. you have to make it beautiful. We're, we are a design company after yes, all. Yes, you are. So if you're looking around, you can see the areas where we kind of broke it up the design, made yeah. it a bit darker, and implemented this uh, molding into the design. Which matches the house. With the exterior of the house. Yes. That was intense. Of course. Yeah. Okay. So much texture. Yeah. But before we can even look at the main structure, tell me. We have so much space. You do. We you have do. So much space. As we're heading in this direction. You okay. Notice. Yes. <laughs> what's like what's this area? So we created this gate here because beyond this, the land beyond this also belongs to this client. Mm -hmm. There's a project they're going to be working on, okay. but we'll be a part of it. But for today, let's just focus on the house. Let's focus on this okay. side of things. So here we have this extra, of course, it's the parking, yes. I'm, I'm guessing. Then you have a kitchen garden or what's that? No, that's a small lounge area. But oh. I think you'll, yeah, you'll get a better idea once we get inside into the house, into the dining room so you can see the, the full idea. I see. Yeah. Okay. Tell me about this structure, this design. Yeah, that, that was very intentional. Uh huh. Hand molded really? by Fine Urban. No way. They're so perfectly done. Every time I look, wow. look at how high it goes. I know. And how straight all those lines are. Well done. It's absolutely incredible. Very impressive. <laughs> very impressive. And there's something there that what is that supposed to be? Oh, over there. Mm. When you see like the steel ones that look like that, just know we're coming up with like a gazebo. Uh -huh. Okay. But there's a duality. There's a multifunctionality that is baked into the essence of fine urban. And that's it. Is if you see a space like that, there's always something else going on. And for this gazebo underneath, we have a water tank. Smart. Yes. I see. So you have two open spaces to lounge. You have this area, the yes. outside, and this gazebo. Exactly. Which is also functional because there's a water tank. Yes. Okay. And now we go in. You ready to go in? I'm ready. Ah, there we go. 
Definitely a huge transformation. Wow. Very, very I feel like there's so much to talk about. First of all, this door was very heavy to open. <laughs> yes. That's intentional again. Tell us about the door. Yeah, all the selection of the material. I talked about it at the gate. It continues. We pride ourselves okay. on that consistency. I see. So if we're going to start strong, we're going to finish strong. We're going to strong. finish strong. Yeah. I like that. Tell me about the floor. Tell me. So when it comes to talking about tiles, mm -hmm. I can go on and on and on for years yeah. because they're always excellently picked out. And these ones are absolutely perfect for this project. It felt so dull mm. as the project was going on before we got to the space, mm. but I can guarantee that the selection of this tile has done wonders in terms of like reflecting the light. I see. Yeah. Yeah, oh, that because of the, the glossy nature and the white makes it pop. Exactly. And, okay, makes you, sense. You see where that color selection is? The natural is elements. <laughs> I see what yeah. you mean. Yes. What about this windows? I feel like different light coming in between this and the door. You have a really good Intentional? eye. Intentional? You have a very, very good eye. Just learning from you. <laughs> You're asking the right <laughs> question. Okay. Because I don't know if you picked up on this when we're outside. Yeah. This is reflective, so it's one way. I see. Yeah. Okay, whereas that one is not. That one is not. So most of the main areas in this house are going to have that type of glass, just clear glass. Okay. But the corners are going to have this one-way glass for an like aesthetic value from the outside. Uh -huh. Yes. The purpose is the outside. Yeah. So Beauty in and out, guys. Yeah. In and out. It's not just inside. It's not just inside. I love it. Yeah. Let's talk about the TV area. This is so grand. I can already almost yeah. see the final picture. Mm -hmm. What's yeah? What is the the vision? I guess yeah. The vision is to make something that is the focal point of your house. Got it. I feel like every every time I walk through one of these sites, I talk about how we all have that memory of being in our grandma's house and they have that cabinet that's like with yeah. everything with the doilies on it. Okay. But as we're looking into the future and modernizing homes, you have to build it out, you have to mm. customize it. And you can see that's how we've been able to implement this detail. Yeah, I was just touching it. This is wood, right? Yes. Wow. And it kind of emulates what we saw in the exterior of the house. I see, see through light. I see it now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I see it. Yeah, but obviously this is not finished. We're gonna have a big slab of marble oh, in wow. the center, and then of course finish it off with paint, That's and stunning. then install the fireplace. The fireplace. Yeah. That sounds stunning. I can't wait to see the final product. And it takes how long is this from this stage to the final stage? Mm -hmm. Usually, how long does that take? At this rate, I'm thinking we should be back here in a month or two. We should oh, be yeah. completely done because we've done all of the gritty work. I see. Now we're just getting to that stage of making sure it's beautiful and livable and healthy. The finer, the finer detail. Exactly. Speaking of detail, mm -hmm. gypsum. I think Fine Urban is known for the gypsum detail. Tell me about the ceiling. So the lead designer plays a very, very big hand in how a room feels. Right? Mm -hmm. the, the design he picks up for something like the gypsum is not yeah. just because I think this is a pretty design. He has to look at how it affects the room. I'll be using that from now on. Yes. I'll take that. The flow of the energy of the room. Yes. It's harmonious. It's harmonious. I'll be using that now. So this is the living room. And this is the dining area. Yes. I like that storage area. It catches your eye immediately. It does. Yeah, when you think about how the movement is going, you definitely want something that's going to be really eye-catching on that far wall. Okay. But the client is going to come in and make their house feel like a home. Yeah. Then put their little Yeah, so that's for them to come in and decorate. And this is going to be a broken mirror design on this wall. Oh, really? Yeah, that helps with oh. aesthetics. Okay. But also, it's not the biggest space. And as I talked uh, about, natural lighting is playing such an integral role. So adding a mirror will add even more space and light into the room. Yeah, that, that illusion of the light illusion. bouncing around exactly. and making feel much bigger than it actually is. Nice, thank yeah. you for those tips. I really hope you guys take all these tips huh, for your homes. <laughs> yeah. So now we're in the kitchen already. Yeah, and it's a seamless transition. I love this it open is. plan Me of too. this house. It just 
how easily you're able to kind of float through the different rooms. Indeed. So this is your island. Mm -hmm. You have matching chandeliers, your dining and your kitchen. Yes. Okay. And they're absolutely wonderful. And you can see how this, this uh, island is laying in, in line yes. with the chandelier. It's and the it same is thing that's going to happen in the dining room. With the dining table. Yeah, so I the see. dining table. So it's going to be highlighted like Fantastic. through the center. Fantastic. Yeah. And all that you're seeing right now, if this entire house top to bottom, I don't think there's a surface you could touch that's not fine or been construction and interior. Oh, I see. So even the cabinetry, it's all, all done by fine customized artists. to this kitchen. And that's why you can see we've been able to include certain mechanisms all throughout. We've been introducing that because it is such an easy way to use like those tight spaces that would go to waste in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. So you have a flexible mechanism Make that you it can pull out. Yeah, put your fruits or whatever it's about. And now you have a more fully functional kitchen. Indeed. Yeah. Make use of every space in the kitchen. Every nook like and cranny. Like I like this. Yes, you can That's see nice. it's demonstrated there. We have another bit right over here. By the where the sink would be, isn't yes. it? Or where it's going to be. Yeah, so this is where we're gonna have the sink and you can see we have another uh, piece over here. I don't know, this looks to me like uh, maybe a spice. Your spices, rack? yes. Exactly. Your spices. It's like a spice rack. Okay. Yeah. I like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you're cooking and the oil splashes. I, I assume it will be easy to wipe off, isn't it's, it? It's a glossy tile. Exactly. Means, like you don't have to think, oh, they're white tiles, yeah. they're so scared. But keeping it clean won't be difficult. It won't, it's as easy as just making, taking a wet rag and uh, off you Wiping go. It off. So yeah. the kids can cook freely in the kitchen, yeah, make yeah, a mess and you'll see. clean up. Yeah, and okay. that makes it so much more fun. I love but it. But you know, they do more than that. Okay. For instance, where we just went, the sink area, yeah. It also helps, the placement of those tiles also helps to prevent water seeping into, oh, fantastic. into the wood. Fantastic. You can see we put them on the side, so it, it keeps prevents water from seeping into all the wood that we put in. Oh, that's really good to mention. Yeah. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Well done, fine Do <laughs> You think about every detail. Every single detail. So where is the pantry to this kitchen? This way? It's nice and tucked away. But before... Before there. <laughs> yes. So There's have, a space out here. We have a door that's leading outside. Okay. This is a laundry area of sorts or what? No, it's like an out, you know, the kitchen. Sometimes, you know, you want to have a cup of tea. Okay. If it's busy in the kitchen and you want to have a seat outside, this is where you do it. I see. Then, then the kitchen garden I was talking about. Yeah, you can see the baby school. I can. Kitchen. I can. <laughs> yes. I see. Yeah. Very thoughtful. Very. Everyone wants a kitchen garden nowadays. Everyone. So this is the pantry area. Yeah, this is the pantry. I'm loving the new modern pantries. Mm -hmm. With the lighting. With the well. lighting. Yeah, under each and every one of those, we have this strip of light. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. They think about everything. <laughs> you know. really do. Even your pantry. Even our pantry. <laughs> yes. uh, so this is the official laundry area. Yeah. Okay. You see I can the tell the already. Transformation yes. and how it matches the outside exactly. area. The transitions in this house are immaculate. Exactly. They're completely incredible. Okay, I love yeah. it. Mm -hmm. So your laundry area, a washing machine would be here. Yeah. Here's where you put up your clothes and you can see with the doors, all of them with the glass. Uh -huh. This area that would be really dark still gets enough light. Yeah, and that's yeah. very that's key. It is. And it this is, is so that's an asset. You get the full vision for this. Yeah. Actually, from the other side? From the other side. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll have to go to the other side and then I'll be able to kind of tell you like, okay, when you're heading that way and this is the idea, this is the vision. Got it. Yes. Okay. It has a very interesting visual element to, to it. Yes. All right, then let's go. Uh, was this a space you were telling me outside? Yes. Uh, uh, sure. So this is what I was talking about when you're in the dining yeah. area. This would be a really nice way to oh, access it. I see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you are not go. pretending. This there door is go. not light. It's very <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, this is the area you'd be able to kind of step okay. out. We can have a couple of seats. We can even there. have breakfast out here. Why not? A nice paper, your cup of coffee. Exactly. It's Enjoy the sun. Yeah. Get some vitamin D. <laughs> yeah. And if you're entertaining or you have many guests in the home, 
here yeah, and here. Options. And I then see. this this indoor outdoor experience by just opening those doors, you like it's almost the entire wall that's just opened up and like let you through the Exactly, outside. exactly. <laughs> yes. It does light up the room even more. Very much so. Mm -hmm. If you take a close look at the what the structure looked like before, you'll even notice with the window placements mm -hmm. and we kind of switch that up structurally. Okay. To accommodate more light into the house. Exactly. Really? Yeah. So if you look closely you'll notice that there's been changes here and there. I see. It was yeah. all intentional. Yeah. Speaking of intentionality, tell me about this space because you can't miss it. <laughs> yes, immediately. You're like, what's, what's going on? Yeah, what's going on there? there? Yeah, so we have that so sunken in area yeah. right below the stairs. So the idea is in incorporating those natural features to have live plants. Oh, wow. So both within and outside. Again, the natural <laughs> elements. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. So we'll have a plant there, which will be highlighted by the light. Okay. But then as you look forward, mm -hmm. that wall back there, mm -hmm. that's going to have like a live wall. So it means that it's plants that are going to be growing. On that no. Wall. Yeah. So that you're having this tree. Wow. Light is such a incredible natural view in, in a house that feels wow. ultra modern. So this is the first bedroom downstairs. Yeah. What's the intention and design? Tell me the design of, of the room. So this is a guest bedroom. Okay. And for of the course. rooms, when we were designing them, the main things you have to think of are comfort, of course, calmness. So, yeah, when you're selecting things like tiles, you have to be very careful. When you're choosing the wall colors, when you're choosing the gypsum design, or even the light fixtures that you're going to put in there, whether it's warm or cool, according to the designers, warm lights are better for bedrooms because... Always. That's where we sleep. Warm. Yeah. And then, obviously, wardrobes, cabinetry, making sure they have enough storage. And for this house, they all the rooms have a bathroom, so they're all, 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 all in suit. suit. Okay. Yeah. And for those spaces, we're looking at again selection of tiles on the walls. What are we doing to brighten up those small spaces on the floors? What are we doing to make sure it's safe and not slippery? Yes. Yeah. And selection of fittings. What is going to be long lasting and long wearing? Fantastic. And this is apparently tile. It is. I thought it was wood at first. I was like. <laughs> So how come there's wood here yet? But it's all tile. It's no, just it's the texture tile. and the color that's different. Exactly. Okay. Intentionally so. Intentionally. I'm learning. Intentionally. Okay. And we have the common bathroom. Of course, when your guests come, they also need a space that is nice and tucked away from everything sure. for you to come and do your business. Yeah. Okay. Let's make our way upstairs. Yes. Yeah. And speaking of upstairs, mm -hmm. I mean, you can see the tile here is very different. Yeah. Tell me about the 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 color, the black and white, and um, yeah. yeah, how this was achieved is very big. It is, it is quite a big dimension. It is. And what I appreciate, I can immediately look at that and be like, the lead designer knew what he was doing mm -hmm. because he didn't go for like separate many tiles because this would look absolutely busy. busy. Yeah. We wanted it to stand out, that the phone chose a color that would contrast well with I see, tile, I see. But we didn't want it to be too busy. So it looks like the tiles have been cut from a bigger slab. It does. Yeah. It does. And there's a detail here in the wall. What's what's happening here? That is a light strip. So uh -huh. yeah, we tend to put them under the stairs. I see. But we are exploring how we can play around with LED lighting in different ways. Mm -hmm. And having it on the side of, of the stairs is actually quite I excellent. think it makes sense. Yeah, I think yeah. it does. It'll pop out mm -hmm. in a subtle way yeah. and light up the way. Yeah. If we continue, yeah. I mean, there's an elephant in the room. We've been holding on to this wall for dear Tell life. Me. <laughs> You've seen me <laughs> and you have felt yeah. it. Yeah. Lord. Because on that side, at the moment, we obviously don't have a handrail. I see. Oh, you don't want to make a regular handrail. There's a story. Yeah. How will the handrail look, Cynthia? So, modern houses, modern fittings. Uh -huh. so glass. Have Let glass. me guess. I figured. Yeah, it's actually I figured. right down that. Right there. Those pieces are what are going to work as the handrail. I see. Yeah. Be very careful. Very. Let us be very <laughs> careful. <laughs> I do not want to fall. It's not always going to be like this. It is a family home after all. So when you come up the stairs, this is the first thing that your eyes are drawn to. Yeah. What's the plan to put here? Or what is, yeah. What do you plan to put on this wall? It's going to be like a whole 
vocal wall. There's a lot that's going to be going on. Really? So we want to add in a couch and like a, a broken oh, mirror no. design on there. Again, yeah. it's a wall that's really immediately you get up here. Yeah, it's the first thing you see. Yeah, so you'll see some beauty and exactly. like some touches of what actually exists in this house. Okay. I can imagine a console even of sorts. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That it would be a great use. I can see that. And speaking of, I've just remembered. I didn't mention this when we were down there, but right before you start going up the stairs, there's this big empty wall of the living room. True. Yeah. There's a plan to have one there. Yes. Yeah, so we're going to have a, um, a console table yeah. and a lighting fixture there just to make more of an event on that wall because we don't like bare walls at Fine Urban. We you don't. like making moments. I see. <laughs> yes. Making moments. Making moments. I like that. <laughs> yes. So this is the first, second room upstairs. Yeah. But I believe you want to tell me something about this wall. Yeah. Before I pass. <laughs> yes. With this wall, we're going to have an art piece because it is an introduction into this room. So okay. we're going to create another moment. That would be nice. <laughs> yes. This would be a kid's, maybe a, a kid's room, maybe. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Can you can tell from the size. It yes. Is a kid's room. Yeah. But we haven't cut back in terms of how much space we are. Or whether it's a child or an yeah. I see what you mean. Yeah, because yeah, it's a lot of storage. Yeah, with, someone is investing in this house. True. They've invested a lot of colors to, mm -hmm. to do this well. Yeah. So even if we're designing a room for their child, they're going to grow up in this house. Of course. They're going to need more space. Yeah. So do we want our client to have to like, okay, now my, my child has grown. They don't have enough space. Come mm -hmm. back and give us more cabinetry. Okay. Or do we as a company realize, okay, this is our client, this is their family home, and this is how long we would like it to serve them. That gypsum is interesting. Yeah, that area is quite flat. I know. simple. We'll probably play around with lighting the edges. In the corners, edges. okay. But this, because it's like a corridor leading into the bathroom, like we need to break that up. Mm -hmm. And then, as you know, breaking up, yes. there's different ways we implement that. Even with this cabinetry, we have this really light wood color. But when it comes to these, it's going to be what's going to break that color. So we're going to do a different color here. Okay. And then continue that through line with the breaking of elements with the gypsum here. Completely different design mm -hmm. leading into the bathroom. bathroom. Yes. Interesting. And you'll appreciate when it comes down to the selection of the unique designs of the tiles, there's a border in the center, you can look at the uh, fixtures, and mm -hmm. how we've been able to kind of distinguish these two spaces, because mm -hmm. you have very clear stuff, and now you know you're in the showers. Indeed. This is another bedroom? Yeah. Or is it, or what is it? Uh -huh. But this is an office. I see. Yeah. I love that. Oh, like that has caught my attention like that. I think that's how you make a room unique. You play around with the gypsum. Because I think there's a time we thought, yeah. if you want a room to be unique, you need to paint different colors in every room. That that's what we did for the longest. Exactly. Thing. But here we're like, no, no, let's actually... They're out of the ceiling. Exactly. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. I really like the detail. So this is an yeah. office though. I was wrong. Yeah. Okay. This, this is an office. Okay. So we are going to come in and build out the appropriate cabinetry for this according to the client's needs. Okay. But also, this this office has a bathroom. Okay? Uh -huh. So this is also en suite. So it can be a bedroom if you want it, it to. It can be. So we okay. wanted to leave that possibility open for the client. Okay. If they decide later on, like, hey, I want to transform this into a bedroom, bedroom. it's very easy for them to do. So you just need to add cabinets, storage, that's it. Exactly. I see. Mm -hmm. I like it. Well lit. Have you noticed yes. consistently as we're walking through? There's a lot of light in this room. Even, even when we're out and about. Yeah. Here in the hallway, especially because corridors are notorious. The dark, dark the, spaces. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but the way we place the window, mm -hmm. and we have the light coming from the stairwell, and, and the we'll, balcony. The balcony. We have to go out there. We do. We do. So the whole co corridor area is lit up because of the light coming in from outside. Even yeah. here, this helps. Yeah, it's the way the, the con we've considered how okay. big we want the windows to be to make sure that you're having this 
wonderful experience. I see. And yeah. what's this behind you? So this is a storage area, so okay. that will just be for storage. Okay. And as we continue following these beautiful tiles, mm -hmm. <laughs> we get to the end and voila, we're in another bedroom. Okay. For the lead designer, yes. we have to come up with that design because we're having a bit of an issue trying to figure out, okay, where do we want the bed to be? Mm -hmm. And then where will we have the cabinets? So we just, he decided like, okay, we'll have the bed fall in the center. Um, then have the cabinets on the side. Yes. So Smart. instead of having all these cabinets you're taking up so much space, right. you just broke it up to two pieces and then have the bed in the middle. So you still have so much room for the bed and space, space in the room. Exactly. Okay. And it's in suit of course. Yeah. And this one also oh. has my favorite bed. I I like the tile. Yeah. I love the tile in this bathroom. It's a nice detail. Is it time for the master bedroom now? We can go to the balcony, take a sneak peek. <laughs> you know, we gotta prolong this thing. You can just go and enjoy the master bedroom. Okay, we have Cynthia. To take a tour. Of the okay. House. Show me the balcony. Yes, like this way, more light, big door, security. Here we go. Oh my god. Another, Another heavy door. door. <laughs> Expected. We come ready now. Yeah. Of course, there will be rails added. Oh. I'm afraid of heights. No. Yeah, <laughs> I'm right there with you. <laughs> Can you see how hard I'm like holding on to things as we're walking through? But it's an excellent place to see how we put things exactly. in this texture. Exactly. And see a closer view of some of the other the security measures we have just around the perimeter wall. Well done. It's actually a great vantage point. What I love is fine urban. One, you think about everything mm -hmm. and you're there from the like if you want to work with pine urban from inception, it's even better is what I'm getting. Like you can do yes. the construction and everything mm. about building a house. You know, we, I said this project is special. Yeah. And one of the reasons, because we preach the fact that just call us with your piece of land. It'll save you so much cost if we construct from the ground up. From the ground up. This one is special because the structure was up. Yeah. So we had to come and do a lot of corrections, a lot of changes. So time can, and money. Exactly. You don't need that. I yeah, see. we're we're always trying to be like, how can we save you money? If okay. it's not necessary. If we find your house and it's a certain stage and there's elements that work, we leave them that. We're I like see. we work with that. I see. But for this one, we we had to do so many a lot changes. Of so we'll always say, guys, just call us. When you're buying that piece of land, call us, we'll construct from the ground up. You can just move in with your clothes. Just bring your toothbrush. Everything just come is, ready. Yeah, we'll, everything will be in the house waiting for you if you're working with fine urban construction and interiors. I love that, I love that. So like <laughs> like you mentioned, because of you know the time spent, extra money. So yeah. how long has this taken? Because oh. you've had to do corrections. A year. Wow. Uh, well, thus far, it's been a whole year. Wow. It took us such a long time to get the structure right mm. and sturdy okay. and exactly what the vision was. And then so, now you come in and that's when we're starting to put down the paint and the tiles and things like and that. And you're almost done. We're almost, almost done. done. I'm so excited. Well done. Well done. Okay, let's head back. Is it time now, Cynthia? We have been waiting to see the master bedroom. Shall I go in or let you lead the way? No, I want you. You want me to go in? Welcome, okay. welcome. Ta-da! Drum roll. <laughs> oh, this is big. This is, that's what I was saying. Wow. We're gonna get the, this, this would be my ideal. Place. Ideal, <laughs> ideal. And you have a his and hers thing going on. Is that what this is? Exactly. Right? His and hers, everybody has to have their own space. Wow. But I've always said, we know one of these is going to be for the lady, and then half of that's going to be for the lady, <laughs> and then the other half is going to be for the lady. There is no his and hers. No I love it. Has. It's all has, yeah, and then yeah. little bits for him. Yeah, we just yeah. have a little more than you do. <laughs> that's, that's just a little just bit a more. A little bit more. So tell me about the gypsum in this room. It's, it's very different. Yeah, it's about breaking those spaces. Yeah. We have this one that leads you, it seems like it's leading you directly uh, to this wonderful. Corner okay. window, okay. allowing that light to pour to come in. in. And then now when you get to the main area, you can see it's kind of it's like a, a frame that frames this yeah. main area. It's like a frame, exactly. Yeah. Okay. 
I can tell by uh, the electrical wiring. I can tell you the bed's going to be on that side, so it's going to be facing this direction. Meaning, yeah. it could be a TV here or something. A TV uh, wall. Uh, this is going to be a TV wall. You can see the excellent. The wiring. <laughs> Got it. Speaking of how we're going to incorporate the furniture, you can yep. see the tiles again. It's that wood feel that you, yes, the wood you look. fell for. I fell for it. <laughs> I was like, oh, why does this room have this room have wood and the rest don't? <laughs> yeah. This is tile, guys. It's yeah, yeah. stunning. Yeah, it's, it's like exposed wood. And uh -huh. you can see we continue that even when it comes to all the cabinetry we've been looking at. It's the exposed wood feel. I like this too. Yeah, so it's that harmony. I love it. But from what the main designer has told me, we're going to have like sliding doors oh. even on that side. Oh, that's the intention. Yeah. Sliding glass doors? Yeah, just sliding glass. So that, I'm assuming it's for dust. I see. If you're going to be displaying yes. your bits and bobs, that's true. dust might get on it. So just okay. having it still be visible, but protected from the dust. Got it. A1. And I love it. <laughs> I A1. love it. And that is a master bathroom. Oh, I love the tiles, the different feel, like the darker area. Oh, and then this. Like, there's so much happening. Like, my eyes are everywhere. I'm using the tile to part that section. It's beautiful. It just enhances the elements, the big window. This the skyline. skyline, and I just know, I just know by looking at those provisions. What's coming here? I just know. Gonna be a big old tub. A big tub. A big old tub. I mean, a bathroom like this, <laughs> yeah. you've got to have a tub. It's beautiful. The two showers. The two showers. That's what we need. And yeah. this, I know I'm wrong, but it looks like a beautiful centerpiece will be there. But what exactly will be there? Oh, that's what I imagine. I would have thought the same thing. I would have been like, mm, I see a painting A there. painting, a picture, <laughs> something. Yeah. But yeah. lead designer, yes. Mr. Cleopas, had a chance to walk me through and he said, it's going to be a towel warmer. Interesting. Towel warmer. That's why we're seeing cabling. Yeah. So there's going to be a towel, towel warmer. warmer. Yeah. Wow. I mean, the height of luxury. I told you this is... <laughs> the room to be in in this house the height of like luxury. my need my towels to be warm wow but also extra storage for shampoos shower ah. gels bits and bobs okay tissues maybe towels what you need in the bathroom yeah right? okay and then we have the his and her the his and her sinks sink okay yeah. Honestly, I don't know if I want to leave this space. Like it's this, a beautiful space. And like at the right, where we don't need to go anywhere else. Yeah, like the tub was here just chilling there and like, you know guys? Yeah. Filming is officially done. Yeah. But that is not true. We have <laughs> no, one more we have floor, to, I think. Yeah. Continue, the tour must continue. Yes, it must. Mm -hmm. The lighting is beautiful. Yeah. And this is the thing around with natural light. Mm -hmm. I think about the end of the day when you don't have all that sunlight pouring in. Yeah. And you can see we've continued that strip lighting. Oh yes, there we go. Yeah, going that looks way. good. No matter what time of day is going to be in this house, you're not going to feel like, oh, I'm not going down that corridor. It's far too dark. And then there's a huge mirror here that we cannot ignore. Which we can enjoy. <laughs> you can. We can enjoy. Is this the purpose of this mirror, Cynthia? No. This, I, no. Next time we come back, this will be gone. Oh, we'll why be is that? Changing this out. Okay. Because I did mention that we, we're going to have the broken mirror yes. design. But that, like, so you're not going to need this. It will be here. too much. Yeah. So we're going to change that so it's not reflective. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's, it's been it's mirror. it's been nice knowing you. Yeah. <laughs> work that has been done in terms of the selection of the type of birds we're doing on the doors, on the windows. Mm -hmm. You can only get that type of consistency if you're working with a team that is handcrafting everything. And we can assure you of the quality because as a company, we've gone out there. We are the ones who got the foodies. We are the ones who got the materials. So there's no room for us to not have accountability. Okay. So Fine Urban makes sure that the quality of workmanship is always top tier yeah. okay. because it's a reflection of what we do as a company right. and we can't stand here and say it's great, it's fantastic. Our clients would be like, no it's not, okay. it's falling apart. Okay. But they can't because we pride ourselves on doing 
and providing the best quality services. I can agree. I can attest to that. Me <laughs> being here, she may work for Pine Urban, but my first time being in one of your spaces and your sites, yeah. just by the feeling, the touch, the look. Yeah, you get to interact. I, I, indeed, yeah. I, I can attest. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a good stuff, people. So call Fine Urban. I'm sure there's a contact somewhere on the screen. Yes. Book your appointment, your viewing, and let them make your home stunning. Right, Cynthia, this is a huge space. What do you plan to do with this big space? Relax, enjoy, entertain. Okay, I like that. <laughs> yes. We love homes that have a very big rooftop, a very open space. Okay. So we're planning to kind of play around with different seating for All different right. purposes. Okay. So think a couple of couches here and there. Think Interesting. A whole dining set. Can oh, you wow. imagine dining on the rooftop? On the of rooftop. Interesting. And just under the stars. Oh, that's nice. It's wonderful. I, I can, I'm okay, when you say it. under the stars, right now I'm under this hot sun. <laughs> so I'm thinking maybe a, a covering would be nice. But oh, when yes. you put it that way, under the mm -hmm. stars, yeah, that's nice and romantic. That's a good idea. Yeah, because when you're entertaining your guests, yeah. and we've seen all the areas downstairs, they're having fun. It's and they have many winter. options, yes. Yeah, you're like, you know what, let's grab a bottle of wine, yeah. a couple of glasses, let's finish the day. On let's the go for a sun down on the rooftop, why yeah, not? Yeah, and you come and you're sitting on the seats and you're sipping your wine and you're like, what a wonderful day we had. Oh, I love that. Yeah. We must recreate this moment when this house is ready. Yeah, just uh, <laughs> I'll hold wonderful. you to this. <laughs> yes, we have to be back here. We have to be back here. But and what is this space? This one seems yeah. like there'll be, there's a plan to cover it up. What's going to happen here? So this is going to be a gym. Ah. And one of the main things I want to highlight about it right now is over there. We're mm -hmm. going to include a TV. I don't know. Are you into working out? I am. Yeah. You know how it's really good to have an aid of someone who's kind of coaching you coaching through. Coaching you through it. it kind of so instead of having a coach. Go. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so that's nice. It's always a good idea to include the TV because a lot of people work out in that way. Got it. So you can just put on your trainer and kind of go with it. Okay. But we still have so much more space on that end. It's huge. And you have your solar panels there. Yeah. So this house is going to have um, solar water heaters okay. and backup. So we're kind of taking some of that burden off of all those beautiful lights we've installed. Yeah. What is that area right there that's covered? Come oh, that's the water heater. Okay, no, I come. No, no, oh, it's the skyline in there. Exactly. Oh. That's, that's My exactly bad. What it is. Okay, the, the master it's bathroom. Actually, and you'll see the master bathroom. Yeah, that is like, you can see the tiles. I can. Yeah. My silly question. <laughs> You're like, what? Is that? No, but it's good because you can forget. It's like, okay. We're getting what is that detail? Beautiful natural light and now there must be somewhere there's uh -huh. a hole this is where it comes from <laughs> got it yeah and of course you can see from this angle yeah more water tanks i can see yeah so we have the storage downstairs that i showed you when Good. we began but also more water up here i love how you've managed to like sort of hide yeah you know you don't it doesn't have to be visible like i can see the neighbors sorry to highlight yeah i'm seeing water tanks everywhere whereas mm. for this home it's yeah. all covered and either underneath or mm -hmm. up in the rooftop. Tuck it I away. like how you, yeah, tuck it away. Yeah, because otherwise those would be sitting here and you'd be like, we don't have space to do all these things I was And it doesn't about. look nice aesthetic wise. It doesn't, it doesn't. Yeah. It's been a wonderful tour. It's a wrap? It is a wrap. Oh, just like that. <laughs> yes. Well I done, can. well done. Yeah. I'll finish by saying well done, Fine Urban. You really do do a fine, a fine job <laughs> in I every way. You see what I did there? I was really trying. Do fine. <laughs> 
Yes, we do a fine job. You do a job. fine job. Yeah. And I'm looking forward to seeing what this comes, what, the, what this becomes in the end. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. And when I'm touring and I'm so happy and I'm talking about tiles and light, I know where this journey began. Of course. I was here. I saw you were there from day one. Yeah, yeah. Before anything happened. And I know a lot of you guys love these phases of our project. Yeah. yeah. But truly, if you're considering any renovation or building a home, I'll urge you, if you truly want to see what we do as a company, Fine go, yeah, go back. Go back and watch all those videos. So you see, are we blowing smoke up? <laughs> oh, are you really about what you talk about? Are we about? really yeah. about what we talk about? So I'll always say, it's good to enjoy this space. But go back, watch those videos so you can see the journey mm. that has gotten us to where we are today. Indeed, and to where they're heading. Yes, and to where we're heading. Yeah. I can't wait for the final reveal. I cannot wait. <laughs> very well done, very well done. I think their contacts are there, or you yeah. can reach them online. Yeah. But find Urban, give them a try. Give yeah, them a try. Give us a call. Yeah, give reach us on Instagram if you're like an Instagram person. We're on TikTok or on oh, Facebook you are? or on Twitter. Like all, well social, done. all social media platforms. Okay. Just go to Google, actually. <laughs> Google and write find Urban, urban Interiors. Construction and Interiors. <laughs> and then we'll pop up in all the social media platforms but we also have a number okay you can call if you want like a more personal touch All right or you can visit our offices we are in Hurlingham right behind four points it's called Rose Avenue 33 so any of those options we're ready to receive you we're ready to serve you <laughs> this has been so much fun thank you for your time Cynthia yeah I enjoy thank I'm you so very much for your happy time. you're here I've had so much fun I have your too. energy is excellent really yes. the sun has worn me out <laughs> Are but I love it. I'm ready to go Let's back go. in. I really am. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>